In this video, I will be living a ballet core inspired day in my life. For those who don't know, ballet core is a trend inspired by what ballet dancers wear. Basically, this video is me trying to live like a ballerina. I know this is kind of extra, but how cute is that little bow? I literally just crawled out of bed. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do this ballet core inspired day in my life in honor of Nutcracker season. I've been seeing so many TikToks lately about the Nutcracker ballet and honestly I've just been really obsessed with like ballet core and like the coquette aesthetic. So I thought it would just be fun to do a day kind of inspired by that. Before we get like more into the video though, I had this plan of getting my birthday nails done in this video because it goes along the theme and I was actually supposed to filmed this video yesterday but I woke up to our power being out for a few hours so I was like now I can't film my video then me and my friend Cindy went to get our nails done together and while we were there the power went out again So I did get my nails done. They're so stinking cute. That kind of took out a small chunk of my video but that's okay. Let's start getting ready for the day. I'm gonna try to do my heatless curls this morning. I know this is something people usually sleep with, but every time I sleep with them in, my curls look so bad after. I was doing a lot of research yesterday on like ballet core and Pinteresting and watching so many TikToks about it. And something that I found was a lot of girls kind of had like just very natural hair because they were always styling it back into buns and stuff. So this is my natural hair. I washed my hair during the day yesterday and let it air dry so I don't know how well this will actually work but I just want to try this to give it just a little bit more of a blowout look because it's pretty flat looking for how I do this I like grab a strand pull it back really tight I keep that strand in my hand and then I grab another section pull it back really tight add another section and then I just repeat that process then you wrap it around the bottom and then once I do the other side I like tie them together in the back also something I've learned is to take these clips out afterwards or else it leaves little like crimps in your hair and it does not look good yeah I didn't do the best job these are low-key kind of loose all right how does she look my spray bottle is downstairs, so I'm just gonna quickly give my hair a quick like spritz on both sides. And then I'm probably gonna leave this in for an hour and a half to two hours. and then I have a croissant for breakfast this morning. While I eat, I'm gonna try to find maybe like dances from the Nutcracker on YouTube and watch that. And then I'm also gonna write in my calendar. I feel like ballerinas are very organized people because I feel like they always have like strict schedules with all their ballet classes and technique classes. So I'm gonna spend some time writing in my calendar, organizing my week. Time for some makeup. First, I'm gonna change my necklace. For ballerinas, because they are dancing, they can't be wearing any heavy or super distracting jewelry, so they're always wearing very dainty, like necklaces, little earrings, which I already have. And this one is pretty dainty. But I'm gonna switch it for this other one. I'm starting to master getting on and off necklaces with big acrylic nails. So I have this super small gold chain with like a little pearl at the bottom, which I thought looked like something a ballerina would wear. Ow, they look so cute. For ballet core makeup, it's very much light coverage, like 
concealer, blush, probably shaping the eyebrows, and like a little bit of mascara. Just kind of like makeup you would do on the way to ballet class. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. One thing you guys don't know about me is I am like a ballerina at heart. I started ballet when I was two or like just turned three. So I was the youngest in my class and I did ballet. I think it was seven years and then I took a year off dance and then I started again when I was nine. When I started back up again, I didn't do any performances. It was just like ballet like technique classes. However, in my last year of dance, I started doing point we did kind of like a year-end recital that's the only time I ever performed point and credit to people who do point professionally it's kind of scary I found this with tap as well tap shoes and point shoes are so slippery on like a dance stage I don't remember if it was as we were walking onto stage or as we were walking off but I remember almost failing in front of everyone and that would have been really humbling for me oh that was kind of a lot oh yeah if you're wondering I was using the Born This Way concealer and I'm using the Rare Beauty blush in Encourage. Gonna use my Laura Mercier Mer Mer Gonna use this translucent setting powder. I even have my old point shoes. Maybe I'll try them on for you guys. I tried them on literally, I think it was yesterday. I usually will find them and try them on every few months because I do miss ballet. They're also like a size too small. So I feel like if I can start making some more money soon, I might pay to go back and do some ballet classes just because I miss it. And that's the type of physical activity I enjoy. Going to the gym, like it's fun and all, but it's not really my thing. I I like to exercise in a more like artistic way so like I like my ballet my circus my cheerleading dance or even like I would love to try figure skating even though I'm not a great skater I think that would be so much fun to learn when it comes to physical exercise that is the stuff I enjoy I'm not someone who likes to go to the gym and lift weights I literally walk on the treadmill and like watch Netflix show or listen to music or a podcast for my brows I'm gonna use my elf soap brow Got my Sky High mascara and I'm just gonna do one layer and makeup is all done. Time to take the hair out. Oh, so far it's actually looking kind of promising. Okay, um... Oh wow, let me get my texture spray. I have the Tresemme one. Last time I used this, I've only used it once. I got like white strands in my hair. It definitely would have looked better if I didn't let it fully air dry yesterday and I did this yesterday. Now it is time for the outfit. Come on camera, don't die on me. All right, I had to give my camera a quick little charge. It's now time to go over some outfit inspo. By the way, a lot of the photos I'm about to show you can find on my Pinterest. You should go follow me. I made a ballet core Pinterest board last night, so I've got lots of stuff on there you can check out. Ballet core is kind of the mix of like ballerina off duty, so like model off duty, but ballerina off duty, and kind of like what they would wear in class. The first staple piece for a ballerina core inspired outfit is a bodysuit. You can wear an actual ballerina bodysuit or if you're an Aritzia girly, I know you got some probably tank top bodysuit from there or long sleeve, so you can wear that. Another staple piece is either a shrug or the little like wrap that you can wear over top of your bodysuit for a bit of a more fancy outfit. Some people have been wearing like the actual ballet skirt, the little like silky kind of see-through one. Some people go like all out and when they wear the little skirt they'll wear tights underneath like actual ballet tights. Ballet core is very like layered. They wear a lot of different layers, doesn't always have to match but you also want to wear fabric that doesn't have any crazy patterns on it. You want to keep it very simple. The main kind of like ballet core outfits are usually pretty loungy. Something that has been really trending lately that I don't know if it's something I could get into. I don't know if it's really my kind of style 
style but the ballet flats a lot of people have been wearing those i almost forgot one of like the main staple pieces leg warmers leg warmers are huge in the ballet core outfit i actually have been wanting a pair for like a year and i think i'm gonna get a pair soon like you can get really cheap ones on amazon of course ribbon in the hair i see people wearing kind of like the aritzia romper type bodysuits i've been seeing people wear that with like leg warmers and a little shrug which i think is super cute or you can even do like a bodysuit with shorts you also see a lot of ballerinas with like their headphones on or around their necks another accessory that is super cute that i've been seeing a lot of recently they're kind of like puffer type of bags and they look so cute and i actually want this bag so bad one thing i want to quickly mention about this trend so many trends last for like a couple of months and then people are moving on to something else this ballet core trend has been going strong for over a year now i can totally see it being a popular trend for a long time so like if you want to go get yourself some leg warmers a little shrug or a little wrap cute new bodysuit and dress in this type of aesthetic you're gonna still be on trend got my little tree right there i was digging through some of my stuff yesterday and i had found another pair of ballet shoes and i found this old ballet bodysuit of mine and i tried it on and it fits perfect it's just black and simple so i'm gonna wear this the fact that the tag is still on this says a lot about me i have this kind of it's kind of a shrug it came with like my little black tube top that i wear all the time i thought this totally fit with the ballet core i don't have my ballet tights but i think i kind of want to pair it with my sweatpants so it's a little bit more ballerina off-duty cozy lounging around the house doing my little stretches kind of vibe and then i'm obviously gonna put my beats on to add to the look all right i'm gonna go ahead and change i put my hair in like this messy bun this is the fit i love the back i kind of want to try on a pair of shorts as well like little shorts look really cute too i really wish i had freaking tights and leg warmers right now would have been so cute. I feel like for the sake of the video, I had to try on my old point shoes. They're literally a four and a half. To be fair, I do fit a four and a half kid shoes. Looks kind of silly with my socks. I'm trying to like stretch my toes in them a little bit. Oh my God. Yeah, like these don't fit. Oh my God. <laughs> These are the other ballet shoes I have. These are just like the regular ones. These ones are definitely way more comfortable. When I first started back up in ballet, something I remember is at the end of class one time and she was just saying how I had very natural like ballerina feet and little like eight year old me was like, okay. Guys, I actually tidied up a little bit. You'll be proud of me. Cause I keep saying I'm gonna clean this room every time I film in here, and then I don't. To kind of end off this video, I thought I would do some stretches. started dancing around and now I'm literally like sweating and out of breath. This video is definitely making me miss ballet so much. I did have a really fun day today though, looking at the ballet core, different styles and fashion, while trying on my ballet shoes and doing some stretching and listening to music. I just learned that some ballet songs are actually really good. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment the point shoe emojis in the comment section, and subscribe if you haven't already. Goodbye, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!